Hello all, this is Max. I'm teaching you about Aurora. Uh, previously we were uh, going through our solar system and uh, surveying the uh, different uh, system bodies here. I believe now is a great time for an intermission um, on that subject and just uh, uh, correcting a mistake that I made uh, in, um, in creating these ships. As you can see there's been some maintenance problems on our, our ships. Uh, gravitational survey sensors um, happen and there's not enough supplies to get a repair um, you know that first off uh, that, that should not have happened um, we should have I should have uh, put in more uh, maintenance supplies as you can see the maximum repair is 100 um, maintenance units and uh, Unfortunately, it only has, it looks like, 88 uh, units on there. Um, so I should have had more on there. And then the maintenance life is only 0.54 years. Uh, unfortunately, that's, uh, <laughs> that's pretty low. So uh, I'm going to use this time to show you how to uh, correct that sort of mistake. Um, I, I feel like if, if I'm making it now, uh, it's an issue that can definitely uh, come up. Um, at some point in your game. Uh, so what we'll do is copy the general design here. It's a good design other than the maintenance. What I'm going to do is rename it to Agincourt Mark 2. Alright. So we got the uh, craft here. We'll go ahead and design a new one. That, that comma? You guys think period space all right um, remember we have a general um, limitation on our ship here the jump drive can only go um, so far um, as far as the uh, size goes uh, only 6,000 tons we're at 6,000 tons so we're gonna have to replace things on here uh, to make room for other things um, what I'm going to do is put in what we need uh, to help what we have and see where we're at. Um, and you'll see that our maintenance life when we add engineering spaces um, is going up. And I'm good for four years. They're going to have to come back uh, in four years for the deployment. And uh, in all likelihood, they're going to have to come back um, for uh, uh, fuel. And remember, this is at full power, but they are stopped surveying for a while. Um, the other thing would be maintenance storage bay. Uh, this is going to add more parts here. And you can see that we have a lot more parts all of a sudden uh, to affect repairs on the ship. So now we're good. Now it's a question of what do we get rid of. Uh, and remember, it's got to be uh, 550 tons. One thing that we can do is look at the component summary. And the percent of total tells you, well, what's the, what is the biggest parts on the ship? Um, how much, uh, what, what size is it? And you can see, uh, you know, f uh, I have five ion drives. The total of that is 1250, and it's 19%. Uh, we could probably take away one of those. Um, fuel storage, uh, the very large one, uh, we could take away that and replace it um, with two large ones. Uh, here's the. Uh, so we have options. Um, I mean, you'll see high density armor takes up quite a bit, but our armor is as low as it can go. Uh, by design, we don't want the armor rating to be very high. It's just a survey craft, it's not designed to uh, um, get into any sort of pitched battle. I think what I'll do is take away an ion drive and one large. So, why are we left with something slower that doesn't go? much further but 
it's going to last longer. Maintenance life, 8.9 years. Um, that's pretty long. I'm going to remove the one engineering space. Where, where'd it go? What? I'm sorry, what did I just remove? Four engineering spaces. What on earth? Oh, I must have removed fuel storage on accident. Six, five, three years. Okay, so we want one more engineering space. Um, oh, the cr okay, the crew quarters messed that up. Um, now then we'll just add in the uh, fuels. There we go. And all right, so it looks like we're squared away here. That's how you uh, uh, change uh, a ship, uh, a ship's design. We'll go ahead and close out. Unfortunately, now we have to go to managing shipyards, and we're going to have to change the um, uh, the SC Agincourt to uh, be refitted or retooled for the Mark II. Uh, so we'll set that activity. It'll be done uh, very, very shortly, within the month. Um, it is building these other ships. I, I put that in a little bit earlier, as I also changed the research as well. Um, as research opportunities have come up, and they've completed research in the past year or so. I'm not sure how long it's been. Uh, let's just jump ahead 30 days. All right, so we are now at. Uh, um, they can now build this class, and what will happen is everyone's going to come back to. Uh, I'll have all the ships out there come back to Earth and have them uh, eventually refitted to the new class SC Mark II and refit from the General Agincourt um, uh, later on when they come come back, which I think I'll mandate right now. Uh, so I'm going to ask them all to lose their special orders. So I'm going to replace them all with no conditions. And I'm going to ask the survey task group to um, Come back to Earth. And copy it to all of them. Alright. And so all of all of them are coming back to refuel from Colony Earth. Where they will stay, they will not automatically leave because none of them have um oh oh dear. No, so we're good. Um, where none of them will have this, um, the unmade orders to leave orbit. And then I can, um, because the shipyard's uh, modified, and after the next three ships are produced, I can go ahead and refit these other ones. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pause until um, that, that opportunity comes up here. All right, so it's been about an hour. Uh, that this game has been paused, um, or this tutorial has been paused, because the game is not responding, unfortunately. Um, an hour is about my limit. This is pretty abnormal for Aurora. Uh, essentially, I'll, I'll show you what was going on. I'm just uh, recalling that the uh, all three of these ships are Agincourts. Uh, they all got back, and in, in the next 30-day increment, there would have been a um, uh, some sort of uh, I, for, I forget I, I'm not even clear on what was next but uh, there was something going on next I think it was building some ships and they were about to pop out uh, it was the next ones and uh, yeah an hour later uh, and you can see there's 10 seconds here uh, an hour and f or I'm sorry a day and five seconds here 
10 seconds right before here, uh, you can tell that there was some action going on, and uh, I, th I think the game probably got into some sort of a, uh, a, a loop here. Um, so what I'm going to do is show you how to, uh, well, I mean, y y you have to close out of Aurora. Um, and I'm going to show you how to back up a, a file, uh, your save games, essentially. And uh, let's see if that's actually closed. Yeah, the rows are done. Um, this uh, file right up here, Steve Fire, is um, is the basically your save games for all of Aurora. What you want to do is normally um, basically hold down Control and drag it, and then you've just backed up your your game. Uh, however, when I force closed it like that, uh, there's a very high risk of database corruption uh, at some point uh, along the way, which <laughs> really stinks. Uh, so we'll, we'll go in and see what, what's happened. Pressing F3. Let's see. Increment placeholder. Yeah, so that never went any further. Um, well, let's uh, let's give it another shot, I guess. <laughs> Wish me. Well, that'd, that'd be insanity. Let's do six minimum increments. No, that would be that'd be bad. Let's just do five days. See what happens. But yeah, that's how you uh, back it up. Um, it's unfortunate that it occurred, but uh, hopefully it doesn't have any real impact on the game. So, uh, yeah, I will uh, pause this now and see what happens in the next few minutes.